Well, it's been too long. Um, sorry about that. <clears throat> Can I even remember what we're up to? It's a rough question. Find out. Down. No, whoops, wrong button. <laughs> it's a good start, it's a good start. Immediately press the wrong button. Now the question is... Okay. So what do we got? We got a file, we got lips. Oh, that's right. We needed to use the file get the idol of many hands which is part of our trials quick recap while we are wandering over to the mansion uh, we're on the island we know there's a ghost pirate his name's LeChuck he's unpleasant there's a sheriff shine top who is also unpleasant uh, we have drugged these poodles because that's the kind of scumbag we are uh, we have three trials to perform to become pirates we have completed one, which is the treasure hunting. Now we have to do the theft, which is, well, stealing this idol. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Well, that's not good. I've got the file. We have a file. Use manual style with Shredder. Give stylish confetti to heavily armed clown. Bro, wax lips in fire. Use file on rhinoceros toenails. Use file on lock. Pick up fabulous idol. At least I got the idol. Hooray! But I'm not done with you yet! Oh no, it's the sheriff! Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Yes, I did. Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. But they're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. Said I could have it. I was just going to borrow it. It belongs in a museum. The pirate leaders told me to do it. It belongs in a museum. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with you. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. Ooh, you're in I trouble. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Uh, gee. Well, gosh. Well, relax, Mr. Threepwood. <gasps> she knows my name. Here. <gasps> she knows why I'm here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Am I the first who succeeded, though? To admit, not many get as far as you have. That's a good start. Er, um, golly jeepers! My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Stop taking the piss out of my name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. How dare you, madam. Your face is too... sweet. Aww. <laughs> For a little... 
Hurl. I see. Oh, he well, pronounced that far better than I did. You're not in the mood for idle chit chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. He's clearly starstruck. Take up any of your time, Mr. Threepwood. No, please come back. Take up more of my time. Damn it! Blingly. <laughs> I really wish I knew how to talk to women. I think every man, well, every straight man thinks that, and probably most gay women. Oh Where god! Do you think you're going through, Wade? What? Not even close to my name. I'm gonna put this idol in my safe deposit box. You know, it's not too late for us to make up and be friends. Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway, and buzz off, Fester. You know, it's not too late for us to make up and be friends. Yeah. And it's also not too late for me to kill you and still make it to the bar for happy hour. Uh-oh. Oh dear. This is the end of the road. Well, your troublemaking days on Melee Island are Redbox. over. My plans for the governor are far too important. Let's see. Uh, no, Secret of Monkey Island is the first game. And I did update it. It just didn't take. Okay, there we go. Update. Hooray. Well, that would have been awkward. We had people coming expecting, you know, bloodthirsty dead by daylight and leaving this. Um. Oh, Secret of Monkey Island is game one. This is just the third part of me playing it. And much too near completion. To risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. I still can't get over how beautiful Spicy that skybox and the water are in this. Is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. It's clearly night time. Clearly. Look at the size of that moon. It is absolutely night time. Okay. Sharp and dangerous. I can't Take reach that, that from here. Yeah. Look sharp. And I can't reach that from here. Rusty, but sharp. And I can't reach that from here. Can't reach diddly. Heavy and sharp. And I can't reach that from here. <sighs> Very sharp. And I can't reach that from here. Well, that seems to be a running thing. Thankfully, as we know from earlier in the game, Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Oh. Hi, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. Yeah, I mean, for it... Why is this called the Idol of Many Hands? It has no hands. None. Like, zero hands. Like, these fish have an equal number of hands to this idol. Well, that wasn't so hard. Ew. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! I am alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? <gasps> no, I came down here to save your life. Oh, well, that's Fester nice. wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well... Our first meeting was a little awkward. I had broken into your house. Forming complete sentences. There's also that. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would. I would have, Guybrush. Oh, and she would. Oh, Governor. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. God. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No. Wait a minute. Listen. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why? Are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. Those scoundrels. 
and to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. Technically, I'm not a pirate yet. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay, then. Let's go to your place. Okay. <sighs> but finish your trials first. What? I don't want you to be preoccupied. My goodness. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. <laughs> um, my my exclamation of what was about um, her calling him or him calling her Plunder Bunny. I'm pretty sure Penny Underbust, a uh, YouTuber, uses the name Plunder Bunny, and I'm wondering if this is where she got the name from. So that's quite cool. Um. What else am I doing? What else is there? Oh yeah, there's actually a Easter egg. If you do stay underwater for 10 minutes, uh, Guybrush then drowns. <laughs> well, 10 minutes and one second. So you know that's quite fun. Right, I have an idol for you guys. Give the idol to these. Still has no hands. Yes, I am. And thank you for stealing it for us. You're welcome. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Okie dokie. Okay. Stay room. I bet this will come in handy. Really? What for? Done that already. I hope people can't hear that. There's a loud. Hey, don't mess with my rat. I'm not messing with the rat. Oh, wait. No. Oh, wait. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, I need the fish from on the dock. But I... After bragging previously that I remembered how to win at all of these bloody games, I cannot remember how you get that stupid bloody fish from that stupid bloody seagull. So what have I got? Teacher, what, what am I going to do? Okay, I think I can put the breath mints in the stew. That rings a bell. But other than that, I'm at a loss. Um, wait for him to leave. Cool. We roll in here. We take the meat. We. Ooh, that's refreshing. That doesn't seem to work. No, I can't swap that around. It's boiling hot. No, that doesn't work. No staples to be removed. No, that doesn't make any sense. No staples to be removed. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to put that in. Okay, so we don't put that in there. Arg! I legitimately can't remember how to do this part.
something around somewhere that I can use a staple on. Wait, hang on. Oh, there's nothing on the back of the door. Arg. I can't pick that up. No staples to be removed. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Hmm. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Oh! Maybe if we go back to the... Shopkeeper. Maybe he'll sell us a sword. I mean, we can't fight the Swordmaster without a sword. That seems logical. Got the sound of my flatmate getting. Cool. What do you reckon, Jet? Is that Emmy? Well, the dog's looking incredibly excited, so I take that to mean it is her. I'll just shut the door. Yeah, you're fine. There we go. Right. Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again, ungrateful little shoplifter. What do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Wake me up if you need anything. The sword right here. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want, I want it. it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? Um. Well. That'll be it. I think I'd just like to browse. Oh, be my guest, fancy pants. I got a sword. <laughs> Need that damn fish. Slashmaster, when you want a sword as sharp as your wit. <laughs> We'll just surreptitiously stand by the door. Do 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 do. This last one here looks. I don't know. Something's not right about his head. now. No fish for you. I think Didn't like a herring. I think it's a herring. A red herring. Hmm? A red herring, eh? And the troll was asking for something conspicuous, but in the end useless. Which, in literature, is known as a red herring. 
So if we go here to the patrol bridge again. I will give you a fish. Oh, a red herring. Pass. Wunderbar. Gasp! Wait, is that man George Lucas? He looked like George Lucas. Anyone else think he looked like George Lucas? Because I think he looked like George Lucas. Oh boy, Stan. I don't see anything special about it. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. Thanks, Stan, my man. Grog. Diet Grog. Cherry Grog. Grog Classic. Caffeine Free Grog. And root beer. Huh. Nothing. Ah. Uh, boo. <laughs> that boat's uh, clearly sunk. Ah, a fixer upper. Viking ship. Looks like one of those well engineered imports. A boat. I'm surprised this one is still afloat. Yeah, this one. This just seems to be a robot. Fuel economy. Yes, of course. Dull, dull, dull. Now that's a nice looking vessel. Whoa! What? How did I get there? <laughs> it's unexpected. Okay, so. What about this thing? Cute, but small. Is that's a bite? Really? It is clearly a bite mark. Okay, right, we'll stop here. Captain Smirk's big body pirate gym. Prices: sword training, thirty pieces of weight. Cannon firing, one hundred sixty pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, one hundred thirty pieces of weight. Hook extra. I think I'll knock. Hello, I would like to learn to use a sword. Polite. We haven't knocked anywhere else. Why would we suddenly knock here? What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Can we step inside? It's a little chilly out here. Do you know where the Swordmaster lives? Um, could you please put out that cigar? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> Never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. Constabulary? It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. Yes, I do. I do so have what it takes, I guess you're right. You know, you really should quit smoking. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do it. <laughs> of course. It'll cost you. Yes, I know. What do you got? I have money. I've got 30 pieces of eight. I figured you'd do it for free. I think I'll wait things anyway. All I have is this dead chicken. Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more. Say no more. Let's see your sword. I do have this daily looking chicken. I don't want to show it to you. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword? Still think it's incredibly impressive oh, that boy. they can do that you switching. Fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. 
Story of everyone's lives. I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. I bet you say that to all the boys. Special student mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. <laughs> Is this gonna hurt? Good yes. God. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Not what I was afraid of. Recover, parry, repulse! Thrust, recover, parry, repulse! No! Beat first, then lunge! Use your forte against the foible! Hours later. What are these words? You're starting to get the hang of it. Oh my god. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. The thing is an X. I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Ooh. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... Oh yeah, so is your mother. I am Robert Ewart Lou. You must be thinking of someone else. I am not a farmer. You must be thinking of someone else. I am not a farmer. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like... How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with... Oh yeah, so is your mother. I am Robert Ewart Loot. How appropriate do you fight like a cow? This is probably the most iconic part of Monkey Island, is the insult sword fighting. It is ridiculous and great in equal measure. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no. That was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to... Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Would have been something like... First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. <laughs> I'm sure you're feeling something similar. I mean, we did spend hours fighting a machine, so... Maybe that's the whole thing. Oh, look! Pirates! Go fight some. Stinking pirate. Bloodthirsty pirate. Thirsty pirate. Stinking pirate. Wait! Come here! Go! Wait! 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 Someone! Fight me! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Nice night we're having, isn't it? Sorry to bother you, I'll be on my way. My name is Gabber Streetwood. Prepare to die. My name is Streetwood. Prepare to die. <gasps> Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. 
Oh dear. I give up. You win. So what you do here is, um, at this point, we're basically just trying to learn the correct My name is Guybrush responses to insults. To so every time someone uses an insult against us, we can then My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. memorize it. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. And, well, we kind of hope that our opponent knows the answer. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. <laughs> there are no words for how... T oh, yeah? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. Excellent. So we learned another answer off there, and we learned two new insults. Nope, wrong place. What you be wanting, you scurvy? Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah, now that you mention it, they do. Ah, it's probably just that we're tired. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Alright, what don't we have an answer My for? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, yeah? People fall at my feet when they see me coming. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Yeah, to win the fight, you gotta win two in a row. Um... But again, at this point, we're really... Whatever you want, you scarville. Nice night we're having, isn't it? Oh, I sure hopes you had something more important to stop me for. Why do you guys talk so funny? Pirate lingo. It's how everybody talked back then. <laughs> Come on, Guybrush, play along. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, so we know that one, we know that one. We don't know this one. Fall at my feet when they see me coming. Oh, yeah. Drat. Uh, I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. This isn't helpful. I need you to know the answer to things. I give up. You win. I mean, yay, I won, but also. Can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I uh, still don't know the answer to this. Feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath. There we go. <clears throat> you make me want to puke. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Not correct. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Didn't I literally just use this one on you? Even before they smell your breath? Yeah, there we go. Uh, dog. I once a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. There we go. Okay, so it's not two in a row. You just need to win several. Wait, wait. What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? I want to fight My you, please. Threepwood. Prepare to die. Yes, we know that. We know that. We know that. We know that. We don't you know this. Make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Hey. 
soon you'll be wearing my sword like a sheep kebab. Okay. First, you who wears kebabs? Like, what? How would you wear a kebab? Would you like wear it like a hat? Uh, what else we got? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, no there words. Are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never mm. like them. Here we go. There's another answer. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Okay, that's a new insult. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Gasp! Okay. Aye, oh, this better be him. That guy looks strangely familiar. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, so soon you'll be wearing my social shish kebab. We know. I know that. Dog, make one puke. Fight like a dairy farmer. Don't wear diapers yet. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, Drat. I'm shaken. Come on. Uh, no match for my brains. No match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. There we go. I've heard you were a contemptible snake. <sighs> Temptable snake? You make me think somebody already did? I got a scar on my face during a mighty struggle. So you got that job as a janitor after all? Clearly not correct, but okay. So now we've got two new insults. <laughs> Someone. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? I want you to My teach me how to Guy insult Rush people. Prepare to or die. how to respond to insults. What do we got? If he wants to go, you want to puke, fight like a dairy farmer. Two. These I three I need. Star on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh yeah. No. Answer me correctly, please. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. <gasps> That's actually quite a good one. <laughs> Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Even before they smell your breath. Okay, there's a new insult. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Right. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Ah. I never noticed that before. Um. Have you stopped when you use the wrong yet? response? He sounds really hesitant Did about it. Oh, perfect. Another answer. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. So I think there's only one or two more that we need answers to. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. So what's left here? Uh, make me put. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and mighty struggle. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Yeah. <laughs> Fast is the term. You. You've got a crawling cur. Even before they smell your breath? Yep. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody just will. used this one on you. You run that fast? Fast. For goodness sake. Bloody Americans. Uh, I mighty got struggle. This scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I am rubber. You are glue. That's not no. I know the rest of these. Oh, you make me want to puke. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I give up. You win. Um, oh, this better be 
important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I need one or two more. I think it should be sorted. Um. This, this. is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. God, no one let me insult that I didn't already have. Damn it. You make me Hooray. puke. You make me think somebody already did. What have I got? What have I got? Who's even drawn both made me know that pretty struggle? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh yeah. Drek. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Do one more. Pirate, just to try and get the last couple of answers and then we'll go fight the My name is Guybrush. Fight Carla. Prepare to die. Carla with a C. Already got that. This already got that. Still don't have the answer for this one. My face during a mighty struggle. I am rubber. You are glue. That's not. No. Damn it. Lost forgot. I'm not going to take it's your it. insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? There we go. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I don't know that one. You make me think somebody already did. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Uh, I'd be in trouble if you ever used them. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I am rubber. You are glue. Okay. We've got the answer for pretty much everything. You're good enough to fight the Swordmaster. The thing about the Swordmaster is that she uses her own custom insults. Um, so you need to look through your list of responses and find the one that seems the most appropriate. Uh, Monkey Island 3 also has insult sword fighting, but their one... Um, their variation is all rhyming, um, which is odd. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. It is me again! My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Let's do this, Guybrush. Nothing like being honest. Aha! I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Captain Smirk is a silly name. My tongue is sharper than any sword. Uh. Even before they smell your breath? Nope, that's not right then. I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. Oh, 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 oh. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. You are a pain in the backside, sir. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. Uh... So you got that job as a janitor after all? Nope. Not correct. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Aha! Uh -huh. That'll be the brief one. Even before they smell your breath? My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. That'll be the gentle one. 
So you got that job as a janitor after all. Hooray! I think I win now. Or is it one more? One I hope more. you have a boat ready for a quick escape. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why? Did you want to borrow one? Ah! I give up. You win. Right for me! I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. Yes, I did. You need proof. Yes, I will. Here. This should convince them. Is it a certificate? It's a t-shirt. More t-shirts. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. Yes, I did. Hooray for me! Right. Ooh, spooky. Very spooky. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! I'm in a cutscene. I can't do anything what? about it. What? By hmm. whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. <gasps> well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. The hell we have! Where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Where did they go? Why don't you think we'll see her again? I'll go get a crew in a ship and go rescue her. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. Trademark. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. Oh, I'm brave. Hey, good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. <gasps> A note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. You're not the boss of me. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. It's a silly name. Silly name for a silly pirate. <laughs> the thing about point and click adventure games, especially ones from Looks like a fine pewter tanker. the 80s and 90s, is that if you can pick it up, you absolutely should because everything has some sort of use. What are you crying about? What's wrong, old sot? The governor is gone. LeChuck and his pa That's horrifying. Ship and spirited her away. Yeah, <laughs> spirited on the ghost so ship. so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. You have a very pig-like face. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. Gyro Streetwood is a perfectly logical name. <laughs> You must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody Isn't it just insane? That. And don't ask me. Trademark. How. All you need to do is find a way there. And just the way the way you transition between it, like in the even in the middle of a conversation, it's it's crazy. Why should I do that? Where can I get a ship? Will you join me? Right, I'm off. Get me a drink. Uh, where, where can, can I get, I get a, ship? a ship? Why, it's smiling stands you shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. What? And don't forget to write. Bye now. Can can you read? You're a pirate. You're not the most um not known to be the most articulate of people. 
Oh, hang on. Um, if we go here. <laughs> now, this is a silly, silly puzzle. Okay. Fill a mug with grog. This stuff is eating right through the mug. It is very dangerous, this stuff. <laughs> run, guy, rush, run. Run, run faster. The door. It's a shortcut. Go out this way. Oop. I can't get anything out of that mug. Ah, damn it. It's not really much of a mug anymore. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Took too long. <clears throat> yeah, try that again. The goal here is that grog, the stuff that pirates love to drink, is in <laughs> fact stupidly acidic. Um and will eat through just about anything you put it in or, for instance, on. It's like a fine pewter tankard. No, no, no. I'm gonna use the mug. This interface leaves some things to be desired. Eh. Yeah. we run. Okay, so this time, as soon as the mug goes... You know what? As soon as we get through... As soon as we get through this archway... it into another mug. Aha! That's why we stole all the mugs. And this one starts melting again. Go in here. And we pour grog on the block. Hey, Gray! A drink! Do not I'm drink this stuff. Thirsty. It is not good for you. And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. If there's anything I can ever do for you. Well, actually, there is something. <laughs> I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me Red to mark. rescue the governor. She's been abducted by the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will somewhere in his secret hideout. I see. Well, Jess, hmm. Le Chuck, you say. Well, Jess? Yes, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island. Fred, and... oh, hey, look behind you. I three had a monkey. I can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> I can. Pretty good trick, though. Meanwhile. That's got a great voice. Having just returned from melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island Trademark. and Drop Anchor. That seems to be a river of lava. Mr. Shine Top. I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you alright? Oh, that's awful. He was LeChuck the whole time. How fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. So here's a fun and unfortunate he question. Um, was Fester Shine Top ever a real person, and did the Chuck like possess him and now kill him, or was he just an illusion the whole time? Almost destroyed by my death. I'm not taking any chances now. Curse is definitely my favorite. Um, 
You took care of I think I said in the first video, weirdly, my first game that I played was Monkey wrong. Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Underwater. Probably um, but yeah, Curse is definitely my favourite. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the root. Make sure it's locked up tight. The what now? Aye, aye, Captain. May I help you? What the hell is that? That's just... Oh, wow. <laughs> I was just on my way to the Governor's Mansion. I was just on my way to the Governor's Mansion. Are you here for the looting? <laughs> yes, looting yes. sounds... Looting sounds like fun, now that I'm a pirate and all. And do you have reservations, sir? Oh, for God's sake. Reservations for looting? Why, yes, I do have reservations. Do you? I don't have reservations. So I called ahead. Reservations? For looting? Oh, yes. Very popular when the governor's away. Chaos would ensue if we didn't have a system now. Unless you have reservations, you'll have to leave. Can I just fight you? Why, yes, I do have reservations. And what name would they be under? Oh dear. Three point Kyber Stewart. Uh, I think it's that first one there on top of the list. It's probably under S for Shine Top. It's probably under S for Shine Top. Nice try. But we're booked solid for the next five hours. Mm, but I might be able to squeeze you in around the two o'clock hour. Would that be okay? Yes, that would be fine. Super. Right. I'll put you down for one to loot the governor's mansion at 2.30. <laughs> Hooray. I've got my eye on you, boy. Steal anything and I break your legs. I have stolen nothing. I think I'd just like to browse. Oh, be my guest, fancy pants. They are quite fancy pants. You have to say. I guess we need to... Oh, hang on. Let's go talk to Voodoo Lady. Hello? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, I did it again. <sighs> okay. I clicked off the side of the screen and the game the game does not like that. Hang on, I'll need to I need to reopen it. This is so stupid. <clears throat> yes, I am really enjoying the Orville. Um it's a real surprise. I mean, I I really like American Dad. Um, I kind of like Family Guy. <sighs> Cleveland Show had occasional good stuff. Uh, so, you know, anything with Seth MacFarlane's name on it, I'll give it a watch at least. Um, but I still haven't seen Ted 2 after saying that. Um, I think my auto save is... No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Skip. Uh, controls. Skip, skip, skip. Backspace. Every right, there we go. Nah, American Dad is better than Family Guy. Always has been. Um, American Dad was cool. I liked American Dad because Stan learned, like... He wasn't, I mean, he was a, he was a, you know, right-wing prick. That's the whole joke. But, um, he becomes more progressive throughout seasons as he encounters new things that he doesn't understand. Hello? Oh. Yes. Oh, there we go. So, you have 
have returned to learn future. Yeah, all villas great. Yes, I must go after the governor. I see you with some others willing to help in your cause. I really hate that flashing. It makes me see spots. Quiet. I am getting another vision. You must. Must what? You must go to Monkey Island. Trademark. Once there, you will search for the ghost pirate LeChuck. He hides deep, deep beneath Monkey Island. Trademark. There's yeah, the Star Wars episodes were really good. Enough to destroy LeChuck. What? It's an ancient root. Once prepared, <sighs> the root can destroy a ghost with one touch. Yeah. Hmm. I'm getting more. Wonder if this root could possibly vision. be the one the Chuck was talking about. Spill it. I see the cannibals that live on the island. They are helping you. Are they? You. I can't tell. The vision isn't coming in clear anymore. No, that's an important Great. distinction. Now go and find the one that loves you. But be warned. He loves me. Boy, I'll watch out for the Chuck. Not of LeChuck, of yourself. What you will find out about yourself and your world. It will terrify you. Ominous. Oop, bye beauty lady. Yeah, I'd like to see them do the prequels. That would be pretty good. Um, I really loved the robot chicken Star Wars stuff as well, obviously. Um, and Family Guys, other than the Star Wars ones, Family Guys' best episodes are the uh, the ones where Stewie and Brian go on road trips. Because <laughs> it's just nonsense. And always musical numbers. Seth has a magnificent singing voice. Okay, so that's an hour. So... Might just wander over. To Chip and Pull Room. Oh boy, it's Stan. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessel. A deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know Stan and his jacket, my god. How do I know? It just Just look at all these ships. It defies I've physics. Something for everyone. Come, take a look around. Magical physics defying coat. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? Like it's not the coat doesn't have a pattern on it. The coat is a hole in reality to a separate reality where it's just pink with teal? Teal? Are we calling that teal? Or aquamarine? Uh, grid lines on it. Let me see the best ship you got. Something not too expensive but built to last. I really don't know if that much to spend. That spiffy blue one by your office looks nice. Actually, I think I'd like to go think about it some more. I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal... I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island. Trademark. And come back with anyone aboard left alive. That's promising. Or should I say anything? You see, you the previous owners of the ship were too. I did turn up the dollar reduce earning rates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Red mark. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island Red without mark. a single human aboard. Cheers, Simon. They claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. 
anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Let's talk about money. Your money. Money is no object. Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Oh, no more than 173 pieces of eight. All I have is this rubber chicken. Second thought, this may not be the ship for me. I have 371 pieces of eight. Look, this is a very reasonably priced ship, but not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Um. Let's try Actually, credit. I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. <coughs> Neither Excuse a borrower me. nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Oh, there we go. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. Alrighty. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. So, now we want to head back to... Looking for a much bigger boat. Oh, I'm looking to leave. So, what else can Please I just let me leave, Stan. Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. See ya, Stanley. Creepy bugger. Alright. Oh my god! <laughs> How did you do that? And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? Ooh. An extra strong magnetic compass. Andy? With your picture on it. Creepy. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. I mean, that's but potentially I useful. I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. Stan is They're just the king of the salesmen. Salesmen? Yes, sir. Sales people. Hardly keep anything in stock. Oh my god, shut up. I've left. He'll be back. I will be. With credit. Alrighty. So, we need to go and get credit from the storekeeper. And that'll be next time. Thanks for watching. Um, have a pleasant afternoon. Toodaloo.